Today in this chapter, we are going to learn invoke VBA activity with an example. Myself Rakesh from Expo Hub, we are into chapter 10. Please do like the video and do subscribe to our channel. So let's understand invoke VBA. So invoke VBA is part of your Excel processing where you have this invoke VBA. This invoke VBA need to be used inside the Excel application scope. Okay. Without that, it won't work. Let's say if I wanted to drag and drop this outside of Excel application scope. So you can see it clearly indicates that this activity can only be used inside Excel application scope. Now the very first thing that you do is point to an Excel file in your Excel application scope. And once that is done, drag and drop the invoke VBA. So the very first point is you have to enable VB script in Excel settings. For that, open Excel file, click on the Windows or the Excel icon, Windows icon, and then click on Excel options. And here you would have something called Trust Center. Click on that, click on Trust Center settings, and then click on Macro settings. Okay, and here you have something called Trust Access to VBA Project Object Model. Okay, this needs to be checked. This ensure by default it may not be checked so come over here and ensure it is checked and click ok the second point is to write the vv script so for that we will use a notepad and here i will start drafting the vv script so very simple act example we will take so we'll say function get number is your method so this is not a variable this is a method from visual basics get number and then here in bracket i would say let's say you know you declare parameter one comma parameter two so what is going to do when we pass values to parameter one and two the get number is the you know method which is going to store both the values so what I'm going to do here, I will simply say get number equals to parameter one plus parameter two. So that is how the addition of both the parameters would be executed with this. Okay. And below that simply write end function. Okay. This is a very simple one. So you can implement any kind of VV script that you have. So this is one of the example to demonstrate. And then you need to file and save. Save as you have to do because it's a notepad. And here you need to select all files. Let's give some name. Let's say some VB script. Right? Dot. Here you have to save it as dot VBS. Remember this. Okay. And click on save. So once you save it as dot VBS, you can see the icon has changed. Now point your invoke VBA to the particular file so i have stored this file inside documents let me go there and select that file all right now you need to understand i have declared a uh, something called get number right so the method name is get number so i was saying that's not a variable that's a method name so get number and then entry method parameter so here i have got two parameters let me simply show you then I will show another example from the Excel file will get capture the parameter and then run this. So simply I will say let's say 100 comma 200. So what would happen? I have mentioned parameter 1 and parameter 2 right in the notepad in the VB script. So this will become parameter 1. This will become parameter 2 and this will become input entry method for parameter right. So this will become the input and the get number will become sum of this two. All right. And now the output, let me store, let me create a variable called output. All right. And this becomes an object which will hold it. Now use a message box and declare the variable and let's run it. So you can see the output has come as 300 so it is doing a sum now let's utilize 
the Excel and because we are using an application scope, you will ask me why did we use the Excel application scope, right? Because we are not getting anything, we are not doing anything with the Excel file. So let's try to get these two parameter values from the Excel file. So I am using two read cell activities and trying to get the values from the sheet called VBS from the A1 cell and A2 cell. So this is the VBS sheet and here let me you know, declare some value, let's say 200 and 400. So this is the A1 cell, this is the A2 cell and from this the value will be captured and I'm going to store that to a variable. So control plus K and num1 is my first variable and control plus k num2 will be my second variable okay and while you are getting uh, declaring the variable ensure you change it to a generic type so you can see it is in string format so to handle any kind of value i will change it to a generic type so for that you can type ui path dot core dot generic and this one you need to select okay do the same for the second variable done why i am doing this because it can handle any kind of values clear and then here what i am going to do instead of passing the hard coded value this time i am going to pass the variables so here i will replace both of this with num1 comma num2 is that clear so i am making num1 and num2 click ok now everything is set it will get the value from the excel num1 and num2 whatever we have declared in the excel file it will go to that method and do the sum and the output will be passed to this object and here you can see the output so let's run it Okay, so you can see the output has come as 600. So I hope you guys have got a basic knowledge about how to utilize the invoke VBA activity. So this is a very simple example. So any kind of VB script can be utilized in this manner. So thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support guys. Please let me know how was this video for you? Did it help you? What do you feel about this video? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.